Five months have passed since Ian said the word Shadowlands aloud at BlizzCon. Though we were excited to hear this news, our hype had all but evaporated. The news from Blizzard thunders once again. Hey, this is Frazzly of the Frazz Report, so I've got some awesome news today. Blizzard has put out a developer update. There is some amazing news today. Alpha has arrived. People will be getting invites. They said this first batch of invites will mainly go out to longtime WoW players with active accounts in good standing, as well as Blizzard friends and family, along with a few limited number of content creators and journalists. They say this initial wave represents only a small fraction of the pool of testers that will ultimately gain access to the test in the coming months. And they said if you're interested in joining the test, make sure to sign up using the beta opt-in link on the Shadowlands homepage. When the servers go live, they said that the full level up experience in the Zone of Bastion will be available, along with the accompanying dungeon, the Necrotic Wake. And players can play through the new player experience in the Alliance version of the Zone in the tutorials. They will be rolling out content on a regular basis. Later in April, they hope to have the Zone of Revendreth. And they even said that we'll be able to cast our sights onto Torghast, the Tower of the Damned. And when they are ready for feedback on different areas, they will continue adding these to the servers to see what's going to happen. And they said that once everything's released, they are going to wipe everything away and move into a beta phase, as well as inviting even more players. And they said a few things to note in the first one. They've done a lot of unpruning of classes, so you'll notice a lot more things in your spellbooks. They're working on improvements to the questing experience, like showing which ones are required to further the story. And you know, just like how many of us got rid of our Garmin and TomTom Tom GPS devices, players will soon be able to get rid of their waypoint add-ons, unless you want further functionality, that is. They are working on a new 3D indicator of quest objectives and a new waypoint system to actually mark on your map where you want to go. There's even more in the developer update. I wanted to let you know that it is so exciting. Alpha is here. I will be following the news and will share what I find, but the Shadowlands are upon us. Soon you will know what I am up to. Ah, shut up, Sylvanas. <laughs> Well, I've been Frazzly, and this has been the Frazzly Report. Until next time, be awesome. The Frazzly Report is a fan podcast that covers Blizzard games. We are not affiliated with Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. Views expressed by the hosts and guests are their own. Some of the art, music, and sound effects come from Blizzard games and are owned by Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. No copyright infringement is intended. This show is brought to you by Dragon Powered Studio. Podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome. Find more at dragonpoweredstudio.com.